September 2-3, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 556-557 of Special Putin's Operations. Overnight Edition. Big Picture. Ukraine makes advances in the south, the Kremlin has occupied some more land in the north. Ukraine's losses are high, proving that defense is far easier than offense in current conditions. Combat was relatively light, while shelling was heavy. Dnieper Line. The Kremlin fired 212 shells into Kherson in the last day. Two deaths were reported. Zaporizhia Front. Liberation of Ukraine from Kremlin thefts is in progress at Robotine Bulge. No combat was reported anywhere else on this front. East Front, Donetsk. Ukraine defended another attack at Marienka, this time a Kremlin tank was involved. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin ordered another attack at Klishchivka. Oskil border front. Deep state mapping project is reporting a two square kilometer theft of land, southwest of Svartov, at Novoy Harivka. A Kremlin leaning source reports another five Kremlin led attacks near Kupiansk, with no line changes reported. Northern border. Shelling was heavy along the border, and was mostly regularly spaced. Black Sea. There are seven Russian warships being used by the Kremlin to patrol the Black Sea at last report. None of them have missile capability. Kremlin drones attacked Ukraine at the Danube. Ukraine world related. The US is finalizing another aid package for Ukraine. We believe it needs to hold more frontline medical and surgical supplies, including blood clotting agents in first aid kits, blood bags and transfer kits, tourniquets, sanitation equipment and chemicals, and Lockheed Martin F-35S armed with AIM-120. With winter approaching, Ukraine needs to be clear in explaining to the US what Ukraine needs most. It is not our opinion that this includes anti-tank penetrators in uranium. In our opinion it does include fresh artillery barrels and proximity fuse shells, or attackers. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.